All right, so I'm doing another video, another video on my Hill People gear and what should go in this missing space. So. All right, so I've laid out all of, of my Hill People gear. Well, not all, I have a couple versions, different sizes of a couple of these pieces of kit, like the chest rig. Um, but I wanna go through this and uh, talk about Hill People gear for a minute and show what I finally got to fill this missing space was the other size bag, the Aston 3 that fits right in there. They had the Aston um, Mountain House and then the Aston Backcountry or vice versa, I forget which come out. This is the third iteration called the Aston 3 and I think it's the best of the, the three. And I'll show you kind of uh, what we did here. So one of the best parts about um, move that the hill people gear stuff and i've talked about this before i have all all of my gear mostly all of my gear in the manatee which is kind of a gray color uh just because i like that color <clears throat> but it comes in a like an elk and um um like a, a a green sort of a sagey green camouflage colors they offer some limited runs on colors but i i like the manatee so the first bag i got from Hill People Gear years and years ago when they first started was their Tarahumara, which is just a small day pack with a really interesting yoke or strap system. I got mine in the, the grouse and, and manatee back in the day, and I still have that bag, but it's pretty worn. It's got a couple holes in it, so I had replaced it with the gray one a while ago, or the, the manatee. So I'll show you at this end. This is their Decker pack frame, okay? It looks like a monstrosity of straps. It's got the yoke system on here, the standard yoke system, which you'll notice is the same strap system or yoke for all of their bags, so it can be interchanged. This is the Decker pack frame. It's got the, the shelf on the bottom and the yoke. We've got, I've gone over this in another video. Maybe I'll do an individual video on each one, how I use them as loadouts. So the Decker pack frame um, doesn't come with a belt, but you can pick up their, their prairie belt uh, they have another one, Recon belt, I think, which has more molly on it. But you'll need a belt um, for some of the, the larger packs or to transfer the weight from your shoulders to your uh, pelvis, to your hips. So this is the Decker pack frame I picked up. My wife has a Decker pack frame in the Elk and uh, the belt and the, the bag and everything. And the best part about the Decker pack frame is this one is sized for me. And then on my wife, the same exact bag, there was no uh, additional models to buy it's the same one just a different color and we just adjusted the yoke system to fit her height a little better where it rides and where her prairie belt is and because of the way that very thin straps sit they're thin but wide i think they distribute pressure better than uh, any other bag i've ever used the possible exception of go rock but that's a really thick over padded and it's more of an exercise bag than a uh, camping or outdoor bag so that's the decker pack frame and you use that with this is their large Decker pack bag, which is really just a top loading duffel bag with a couple water bottle pockets. You fill that out, you strap it to the pack board, you're good to go. You can also use any other bag with the Decker pack frame. I could load up my Aston with a, 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 load, of, uh, a load out of equipment and then my Tarahumara and then stack them on here or just a regular duffel bag and stack it on. So the large Decker pack frame with the prairie belt is my go-to when I'm doing large campaigns or large excursions with groups and I have to carry in um, more equipment. Sometimes I'll bring my duffel, drop it, and then hike back out to the car to get um, the five gallon water, um, water jugs or the, uh, the camp box. And I just strap it to my pack frame and then hump that back in. The Hill People Gear um, out in Colorado and they they, they talk about uh, elk hunting a lot and you use that to pack out your, your animal. It's good for up to or just over 300 pounds on that chassis. So the, the Decker pack frame is awesome. It's a little too big for daily carry. The next size bag I have is this Aston 3. I just got that. I'm going to do a separate video on that in the future. So I'm going to leave that one for now. But this is my new uh, EDC bag because it's about the size of my GORUCK uh, 26 liter, the GR1. And... Um, I love that bag, but I've had that for more than a dozen years, and it's getting pretty worn. And instead of replacing it, I just filled that size gap with Hill People gear because um, I really enjoy their 
enjoy the products and the modularity. This has been my main bag uh, for a long time now. This is the Umlindi. It's just sort of a rectangular shaped top loading bag. And uh, I've gone over this, I think there's almost an hour long video about how much I love my Umlindi and the different things you can do with it. And I was using it as an EDC um, bag since replacing my GORUCK. But being a top loader, I find that's more conducive to my outdoor pursuits than my daily pursuits, which is why I was interested in the Aston, because it's a panel loader and a top loader. Check that out in another video. If you're just running to the park um, or a quick walk downtown for groceries, if I don't think we're bringing much for the Umlindi, I just throw my Tara Humara on. This almost uh, always just lives in my Jeep because it's a small bag. Um, when we go out in the woods, I'll throw this on my Decker pack frame so I have a day bag around camp when we're out for extended days. Sometimes you can, again, same yoke system as this, and on the Umlindi, and on the Aston, and on the Decker pack frame. Same yoke system, interchangeable between all the models. And sometimes I'll just strip that yoke system off, take off the compression straps, and then the bags all come with these little extra tabs which are set up to pair the side release buckles on so you can you could snap this into your Decker pack frame and use it as the the back panel to hold all your gear. And then when you get there you can take the you can take the harness off your Decker pack frame and throw it on your little Tara Humara uh, admin bag and now you've got a little day bag for under around camp. The next size down would be another favorite piece of gear I have uh, from Hill People is their chest rig series. Okay? It's great, it's like having a fanny pack but not around your waist and out of the way. Just holds up here. We've done a few videos on the chest rigs. I love that size. This is their middle size and then you can get it in a smaller uh, snubby size or even a larger search and rescue uh, bigger than this. So that's the chest rig and then another piece of gear I started with years ago with the Tara Humara was the the belt kit. Right? This is their snubby belt pack or fanny pack and uh, I do love fanny packs, so it's like having an extra pouch, right, when I'm wearing, started out when I was wearing my kilt, or if I just wanted an extra possum pouch to throw things into. And then, of course, um, my wife started teasing me about my fanny pack, so now I'm going to wear them until I die. So besides all the modularity in these bags being, uh, bags being interchangeable, Hill People Gear makes some interesting accessory items, too. One is, uh, they got a few versions of this. They got a Tara pack and a, um, an admin panel. I think this is their admin panel. This is just a backpack. It's got several pockets. And it's got a lot of internal organization. I can do a video on this uh, product as well. Three slip pockets in that main dual zipped side pocket. It rides like this. It's got a deep uh, back pocket, goes all the way down to here. Stacked on top of that is another slip pocket that goes down the same depth and has two small slip pockets inside. Okay. Great for organization and you can put side release buckles. I have them on the bottom here because I had that configured um, earlier. And then on these side tabs and you notice there's a bunch of them and at first I was kind of confused when I got my Hill People gear a couple bags but what happens or the way it works is you can take any of these panels and with side release buckles I could attach this to the back of my Tara Humara. Or I could put this admin panel loaded out, maybe I need a bigger carry, so I'll grab my Umlindi and I can, fash, I can attach that to my Umlindi. I could take the same bag that's already kitted out for my uh, standard outdoor campaign events. I have my stove, my toiletry kit, my extra cordage, my pitch kit, all my, my rain gear, everything in this, and then I could strap it to the Aston or use it if you look at this for a second, a little closer, you'll see the Decker pack frame, which deserves its own video, and I will get around to it, right? To contrast this with some other pack, uh, external frame loaders, right? So you've got this yoke system in the middle that all these buckles attach into. And of course, with these straps, you can expand that out or uh, constrict it down. You can take these side release buckles, and if, I don't know if you can see it, I'll turn it over so you can see you can see that the side release buckles would line up with three of the tabs and some of the bottom tabs and two on the top and you could replace this little uh, Hypalon uh, yoke 
with the admin panel. So now you've got uh, a, an extra pack, a bunch of extra pockets on the outside of the bag. And then when you get to camp, you can turn this into a day bag, or like I do, just use it to keep track of all my, where my spoon's at and my fire kit and that kind of thing. So the panels come in a variety of shapes. You can get a Connor panel, an admin panel, uh, a PALS panel, a Tara panel. They have, they have a bunch of these little pockets, and I really like them. Another thing you can get just from Hill People Gear is just their, their stripped down yoke system. Right? This one doesn't have all the features and reinforcements of their standard yoke system that's on all their bags, but you can grab this. It's got a couple Grimlocks here and Grimlocks on the bottom. And let's say I get to camp and I have my admin panel on something, I can take the admin panel off and just run these Grimlocks through here. And go down to the bottom, use the other Grimlocks on, and I'll just do it here because I have some, no I don't have any cordage to that one, I just was looking at it funny. Run the Grimlocks through of the two straps. And then I've got this extra <clears throat> extra yoke tied up, or folded up in one of my pockets. And then when I get where I'm going, I can use the admin panel as just a little day pack or an excursion pack. Right? So I can take that and, and off I go. Right? Or like I do, I will just take the yoke uh, off of like the Decker pack frame and throw it on my, uh, my Tara Humara. I've got a couple of the first spear uh, tube systems there because sometimes I won't wear the, the rig for my chest, um, the back straps for my chest rig till I get to camp, and I'll just hang it uh, from the front of me when I put on my um, backpack. Let me pull that off real quick. I'll show you something else. So maybe I'll just take the back, the back strap system and I'll just have that folded up in an admin pocket somewhere. Another interesting piece of kit is the uh, accessory bucket. So a couple things you can do with this. On some of the versions like the Aston that has the loop field on the inside, I could attach this bucket on the inside uh, of the Aston. Maybe I'll show that in a little bit. Or I could just grab my Tara Humara and it comes with these little, these little G hooks at the bottom. I don't know if it'll fit the Tara, but we can see. And I could go right on the side here in these loops and I could throw that pack and then I've got these these straps available okay, so I can attach that bucket <clears throat> right to the bottom of my pack. What good's that bucket on the outside? Let's uh, well before we go over there I'll show you this. So sometimes I just throw on my backpack and I don't need the full chest rig set up I've got a couple other tube systems on here, and you can see I could just, without hitting the microphone, I could just strap my uh, chest rig on there. All right, so let's walk over to the Jeep, and I'll show you what this bucket's for. You're going to have to come with me. I'm not coming back. Did I lose you? Okay. So you can come around this side so you can see it, I think. All right, so here's what you can use that bucket for. You can slide the buttstock of your rifle right down inside that bucket or any other long item you might be using. Okay. And this would be with my Tara uh, Humara, the runner kit. I could just tighten those straps up, run this across. And this bucket, because of the, the modularity of all the Hill People gear uh, bags, this bucket will attach to the bottom of any of their other packs. And you can see, maybe I get uh, to a particularly rocky area and I have to make a climb, and I don't want my rifle in my hands. 
I can strap that to the bottom in that accessory bucket and it holds in there pretty stable. Um, it's large enough, I know from experience, that bucket to fit the lower limb of my bow. I can fit my bow in there. We've run uh, snowshoes. We'll fit down in there into that bucket. We've set uh, like long tent poles and things down in that bucket. And then when I do the video review on my new Aston 3, I will show you how you can put that bucket, which just comes off those little G hooks, how you can put that on the bottom of the bag. Uh, some of the other bags are inside the inside uh, where you have that loop field. So that's it for my uh, quick overview of the Hill People gear. I have a lot of it. I really enjoy it. Um, until recently, I would carry my GORUCK once in a while, but I've, I've replaced that with the Aston 3, and now I'm just completely Hill People gear um, as far as all my outdoor gear needs go. And you've heard that phrase, cry once, buy once. That's really true. They're not the cheapest, but they are all 100% American made, American source materials made right here in America. They've got great customer service. Uh, I've had some problems before with a broken buckle and some things I've had to uh, get the extra buckles and um, the guys at Hill People Gear sent me their source to get the buckles and uh, helped me out right away. They, they respond very quickly to emails. And um, so cry once, buy once, uh, wait, cry, buy once, cry once, or in my case, cry seven or eight times. <laughs> so great gear. I love it. It'll probably, it'll have to last me the rest of my lifetime so that my wife doesn't kill me buying. Uh, and I don't think Hill People Gear has anything left that I don't own with Carrie Ann. So we're done. Uh, very good. Uh, like, subscribe, leave some comments. What Hill People Gear do you have? What's your favorite piece of Hill People Gear equipment? Uh, are you planning on saving up to getting some Hill People Gear? Uh, let me know. And uh, what else? Comments, subscriptions, notifications, all the usual shit stuff. All right, bye.